Jeff, go ahead and tell me a little bit about Talk Out Loud. What is the uh, the series all about? Yeah, so Talk Out Loud is a podcast, uh, and we do long form interviews with a range of client, uh, a range of guests from that identify as LGBTQIA or plus, and I, and just like to spell that out because sometimes people there's been so many letters added, but to us it's really important for representation because the letters there we're talking about those people right now. So obviously the easy one, um, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender intersex um, and then allies as well too. Um, so we're telling all those stories and it's a place where anyone can come and share their inspiration and how they got to where they're at and just some amazing things they're doing in their lives. The month of June, it's always been a big celebration in, in the community, um, but you have a special series as far as like four special guests that you have. Um, Anthony, go ahead and, let's go ahead and start talking about Justin Makita. Obviously, you know, Tony winner, um, husband of Jesse Tyler Ferguson, and a new dad, you know, there's so many things that are going on in his life. Um, how did we go about, uh, you know, telling his story and, and what were some of the things that you guys learned about him? Sure. So uh, I think one of the most interesting things that I found from his story was his, the beginning of his journey, you know, as like a young person um, was he thought that he was going to be in theater and he was going to, you know, be in New York and, you know, be on Broadway and that kind of thing. And when he got to uh, uh, UCLA, when he got to school, he realized that the theater thing just that wasn't for him. And he made this transition to uh, uh, study law. So I like, I thought that was a big jump going from theater to becoming a lawyer. Um, but what's interesting is then later in his life, he sort of has now had this full circle moment where, you know, he's, he's practiced law and he's, you know, worked with the community, but now he still is part of the performative community in a lot of different ways. So, you know, I think it's, you know, with, with Justin and with a lot of the other guests that we have on Talk Out Loud, what's interesting to hear is, you know, where people sort of start off in their journey and it sort of takes them down a road. And then it's not kind of what they think it is, but then they get this thought or they hear this voice that makes them sort of make that pivot. And then they, you know, make the pivot. And then it winds up somehow that, you know, somewhere later in their life, there is this sort of full circle moment where, they're doing what they thought that they maybe were supposed to do, but just doing it in a different way. So I think that that's definitely uh, an interesting part of his story. Well, there's always, you know, those people who like, you know, from a young age are like, I want to do this. And they get from, you know, from point A to point B. And sometimes you get from point A to point B, but you got to go C, D, E, F, G, F, you know, <laughs> all the way through Z. And then you circle back to that place yeah. uh, eventually that, that you were meant to be. And then Jeff, I wanted to ask you, you know, as well too, you know, one more question about Justin is that, especially with, you know, his husband, Jesse Tyler Ferguson on Modern Family, that has opened the doors for so many kids to have conversations with their parents or maybe loved ones who love the show, but maybe didn't know a gay person or maybe had that conversation where someone was able to come out. Now that their parents, um, did they talk, did he talk a little bit as far as like what that meant to be a role model, you know, especially for so many young kids and, and families to see them as a normal couple and not anything that was, you know, had this been, 20 years ago, it may not have the same same reception. Yeah, it, exactly to your point. And, and, you know, one of the interesting things that came out of the conversation was, is that Jesse, you know, was on Modern Family, um, changing hearts and minds, playing, you know, Mitch in a committed relationship with another man. And meanwhile, Justin was boots on the ground, you know, in the 10 years ago, working against Prop 8. You know, and it, it's actually, it's hard to imagine that it wasn't that long ago. And especially now that's come full circle that, you know, Jesse... <laughs> And, and Justin are literally having Father's Day together, you know, this week um, as two dads raising. And, and the point of it is, is that, you know, with Justin, we talked about earlier, like, you know, being an attorney and being the legal stuff, but that also like the hearts and minds aspect of, you know, seeing, you know, Mitch and Cam on Modern Family made people comfortable. It's like, you know, it's like, oh, like it gave them a reference point to know, you know what, this does work. And it's, you know, all of these like these fears that we have about you know people that are different from us that they just kind of like fall the wayside because they're not through. Yeah. Oh, one hundred percent. Now, as far as some of the other guests you have for Pride, uh, some of their names may not be as you know recognizable, but they all have strong stories um, in their own you know respective fields. Uh, Anthony, let's go ahead and you know maybe chat a little bit about um, Alexandra. Maybe let's go um, with her story. Sure. So uh, Alexandra Gray, she uh, uh, is uh, an actress. 
um, and also a transgender uh, rights activist. Um, she is, uh, her episode is going to be coming up uh, on uh, Wednesday, June 23rd. And, you know, what's great about uh, her story is, you know, we get a little bit of that, um, you know, backstory from where she's from. Uh, she's originally from Chicago. Um, and uh, we hear sort of the struggles that she faced as a kid and sort of that little voice in her head that, you know, was telling her to, you know, was telling her to move to LA and you know she was you know a very young had no money you know sort of that that kind of typical LA kind of story and she followed you know uh her her she followed her intuition her gut whatever you want to call it and it brought her to LA and you know now she's um on you know has been on a variety of different you know television shows and you know one of the the most exciting things i think is to see her on the cover of out magazine earlier this year so we talk about that journey that she's you know gone through um over the you know over the the last like 10 years of her life and the struggles and you know the ups and the downs and you know uh, celebrating the those big moments and you know being humble in the lower moments